First tonight, five people were sent to the hospital Saturday night after an alleged drunk driver crashed into a hayride in Allegan County. News 8's Adriana Doria has the details on what led up to this crash and possible charges. Algon County deputies say one woman has been arrested in connection to this crash, and they say that her preliminary blood alcohol level was nearly twice the legal limit. You can picture in your head exactly what it seems always going to look like. It looked like chaos. The Allegan County Sheriff's Office says the crash happened around 7.30 Saturday night. A hayride had just left a nearby restaurant and was traveling south on M40. As that hayride attempted to turn left onto 110th Avenue, an SUV crashed into the back of it. It did happen uh, right near dust time, uh, 7.24, so... Um, they say sunset is just a couple minutes after 7 o'clock. Usually about a half hour is where you still have enough daylight to see a little bit. Um, the tractor itself had lights on it. There were no lights on the hay trailer, uh, but there was a large, uh, slow-moving, reflective orange triangle on the back of it. Deputies say the driver of the SUV, a 44-year-old woman from Allegan County, was under the influence at the time of the crash. They say speed is also thought to be a factor in the crash. And she was conscious enough that she first told the deputies that she was the passenger in the car. And then about an hour into the investigation, she admitted that she was the operator of that vehicle. News 8 is told a total of five people, four from the hayride and one from the SUV, were taken to the hospital with serious injuries, but they are expected to be okay. A mother to individuals on the hayride who wanted to remain anonymous described the scene to News 8 as, quote, horrific and, quote, like a nightmare. She said she remembers seeing glass and blood on the road. She provided a statement to News 8 that read in part, quote, I just remember praying and when almost all of the ambulances were full, crying in my son-in-law's arms. Now we just need time to heal and God will help with that. The kids say they could feel the prayers of all the people around them. God showed up at a terrible time and gave us a miraculous night, end quote. That woman's identity has not been released at this time, but she is expected to be in court on Tuesday. In Allegan County, Adriana Doria, News 8.